Hey there, I'm Justin from thecarflip.com and this video is to show you how to use touch-up paint to fix minor imperfections on your vehicle. We're going to show you how to take this and you can see the minor imperfections there and turn it into this. So we're going to look in person at our 2007 Ford Explorer. You can see we have a couple scuffs and nicks out of the paint. We have here, here, here. We have one right here as well and then another one right over there. Now one that you might not have seen as we're painting the camera is right here. This is the one we touched up just a little bit ago. This is one layer of touch-up paint. A final layer would make this where it was not hardly noticeable at all. But we'll show you that in just a moment. Before we get into actually painting this, I want to show you first off where you can find your paint code on most vehicles. So this is a Ford. Most every Ford, if you open your door, it's either going to be here or actually over here on the panel there. But right here, we've got a VIN number. It says EXT PNT, exterior paint is code G3. Now, for us, we've taken G3. I have called a auto body supply. I've had them mix this for me. This is four ounces of G3 Ford for a 2007 Ford Explorer. That code for another year model could be a different color, so you wanna make sure it's specific if you're having the auto body store mix it for you. So for me, I had them mix four ounces for $14.37. You could also, which is what most people will do, most of you, you're completely fine going to Advance Auto, taking that code, as long as it's on the front, you're good to go as long as it matches up. They usually have a book there you can look through. You could also search on Amazon or eBay. Sometimes if you're looking on Amazon or eBay, you'll see these, but sometimes something like this will be cheaper. Now I've had this one a while. This was a blue, I believe, for a 1997 Jeep Wrangler, if I remember correctly. The paint code is here. This is a Chrysler product. Chrysler owns Jeep. So it was a PQ7. This was half the price of this. I was only gonna use it once, so that was fine. If you are using something such as this or such as this, you will need to be able to have some type of an applicator. A cheap paintbrush that your kids have in the art closet would be fine. I like these, uh, one, because they're cheap, and two, because they're precise. So what you call a micro applicator. Um, women, you may have used these before. They're very common uh, for nails, eyelash, brow stuff. I don't know, I've never done it. Um, but that's what these are, but they're also very useful when it comes to doing touch-up paint. So I'm gonna take my touch-up paint, I have a flathead screwdriver here, we're gonna pop the lid, and it's the exact same technique, whether I'm using my micro applicator, or whether I'm using the provided brush that's actually included. If I was to undo this, and we'll do that just to show you, if you're using this type of product, this is a red for a GM, but you see there's a brush there on the end that you can use to brush. So, for me, I've already shaken this. Any type of touch-up paint you're gonna have to shake. So for me, I'm gonna dab a little bit. Be careful that you don't stick it in like this and try to apply it where it's dripping, you're gonna get runs, it's gonna run down the paint. It would be ideal, which I did not do, to have a paper towel handy, just in case it runs, you're fine to wipe it off and just start again. So for me, if you have too much, you can dab it on the side. We're gonna come down. And for me, I like to start on the side. I usually go left to right, because I'm right-handed, so I don't wanna be dragging my hand through the paint. So I'm gonna start over here, and I'm just gonna start dabbing this up. And you'll kinda of get a feel for if you have too little or if you have too much. So for me, I'm gonna get a little bit more. We're just gonna dab this in there. It's just like when you were in first grade and you weren't supposed to color outside the lines. You don't wanna paint outside the lines any more than you have to. So I'm gonna continue to paint here. And yes, that was my phone ringing. I will call them back. So what I did there was I got a fairly substantial drip and just drug it down and I'm going to bring the rest of it up so we've got a fairly thick layer there and we're going to bring it up and we're going to fill in these tiny areas for tiny areas like this a lot of times I'm just going to cover the whole spot so I'm not going to try to go separate I'm just going to join them because they're right beside each other and that is pretty much our process for doing the touch-up paint. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest. 
We're gonna come back at the end and I'm gonna show you our finished product. All right, I'm gonna show you our finished product now. We've let it dry just a little bit. It's probably still a little tacky to the touch, but we're gonna come down here and take a look at it. If you remember correctly, our spots were here, 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 and then we also had a little strip right here. Now, you know, you knew they were there. I pointed them out. You can definitely see, but let's zoom out real quick. For me, I'm selling this vehicle. The main objective is to make it not catch somebody's eye. If we just did a sweep from front to back, is it something that catches your eye? We know about it, so of course, but for most people, no. With your personal vehicle, maybe you have some imperfections that you don't want other people to see. You're always gonna see this on your car, but other people wouldn't catch it. So this is just one coat of touch of paint here, 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 and here. If you look real close, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. This was a gray plastic bumper behind the paint. You can see a little bit of the gray coming through right there, maybe a tad there, a little there, and maybe even some right down here. Um, when you're going with a lighter paint over a darker color, sometimes you're gonna have that. Now this here is when we actually did two coats on, just to give you a comparison. There's no gray coming through. That's what you'd like to have. Two coats aren't required, but if you'd like it to not have any color coming through, a second coat might be good for you. So. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, we'll put some links below to some of the products such as this. Of course, we can't have your exact color because every vehicle is different, but if you're looking for something like this, we'll put a link to one of these, and we'll also put a link to one of these just so you can see the difference and how they're listed on Amazon so you can take a look at these. Otherwise, we'll also put a link of these micro applicators. If you do this a lot, it'd be nice to have a stack of them. I think this one came with a hundred micro applicators. So that is how you use touch-up paint to fix minor imperfections on your vehicle.